This is Star Talk. We have flying cars today. They're called helicopters. Yeah. And they're really noisy. Yes. Yeah. And in fact, if you want something as heavy as a car to levitate, you're going. It's going to be making some noise. Well, it's, it's uh, also going to use a lot of energy. And a lot of energy. Well, that's because, in the word of a, 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 a another physicist I know who flies his own plane, he said, uh, uh, "Helicopters don't fly as much as they beat the air into submission." Uh, who, 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 who said this? <laughs> who said this? that's? It's true. It's, true. I, it's all. It's completely well, there. The air doesn't submit. It just flows down, and having enough momentum to hold the helicopter up. The other thing about tunnels is we have that technology here in New York City. We have the technology to a limited extent in Boston and Washington, to a very limited extent in Los Angeles, and somewhat in Seattle. This technology exists. You go to Minneapolis, no tunnels, but they have those skyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can walk all around downtown Minneapolis. It's an ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they, they, they don't want to admit that to a themselves. Habit trail. It's a habit trail. It's a habit trail. It's a it's human cool. habit trail. No, that's they what call they call it. It's called Skyway. No, no, you gotta have to give I, it a sexy name. No, you were a freaking ant in a tube. Well, <laughs> but whereas in the subway platform, you go, "Wow, I'm a termite." No, but, but, no, but, but, but termites and ants are not looking what? at our subways jealous of it. If you looked at the skyways and these tubes connecting buildings, it looks just like the habit trail that you get at a pet shop. The other thing is that they're attractive to me. They're attractive. And now, the, he also Elon Musk brings up another good point. What? When we have humans operating the Tysonic flying car, which competes yeah, with the Chuck Tysonic. Nice subterranean vehicle, <laughs> uh, who's going to drive the thing without all kinds of trouble? And so, you know, it always fascinates me when you look at highways from the air when you're in an airplane or a helicopter, it looks so orderly. Yes. It really does. Cars all they merge, they go along very cool, but you're using a human brain. This, this thing is capable of art and radio shows and and rocket companies. You're using this brain to do nothing but operate this car on this right of way. Stay in a straight line, stay in a straight line, stay in a straight <laughs> line. Change lanes, look over your shoulder, look over head check, head check, head check. Whoa, whoa, head check. And so this is why uh, this seems like a real opportunity. Well, my favorite bumper stickers ever, caution, driver applying makeup. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> I've seen it. I see you've driven it. behind me. No, is that right, Chuck? <laughs> Bill, right. so you don't, you, don't, you don't want humans driving cars. You want driverless cars. Yeah. At a very high level of reliability. Now, you know, I used to work at Boeing, and you get a triple. You, you worked on the 747. 747, yeah. a little bit 7273757. But yeah. what you want is. That's the lingo check. I know. You, well, that's he, how you. He, he's sound, showing that off now. Sound like you were giving me your number. <laughs> these, are all, these are all planes. Everyone from Boeing has a 7 something seven, 7 in their yeah, Well, yeah, but when it's triple redundant autopilot, you can count on it. It's going to land the plane. Gotcha. Uh, so, but. The problem with cars is not – you don't have nearly the traffic control that you, um, that you have in, uh, in uh, airplanes. So who's going to win and this? Pedestrians is it... cross the street in front of you and – Who do you think is going to win this? Tesla a and with a, uh, a driverless car perhaps coming out of their shop or Google? Well, Tesla makes cars. Yeah. Google makes software. Okay. You can't have one without the other to be oh, driverless. So ah. this is like a chocolate and peanut butter thing. Exactly. Whoa. You got your car and my <laughs> software. <laughs> you got your software in my car. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, they're, you're both right. Chuck, I love setting you up. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. But wait, there's more. Yeah. When you think about the automotive industry writ large, everybody uses the same parts. Mm -hmm. uh, what the gas gauge sensor, the speedometer, yeah, the yeah, tires, yeah. the nuts, all the bolts, all the same standard. There's a little competition, but you can get a lot of commonality. And so we will see what happens in the near future. This is Star Talk.